Sanchez for Pesha. Sanchez for Pesha. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Winsworld TV. Naoya Inoue may bagong dahilan na naman para hindi labanan itong si former 3 World Division Champion Quadro Alas John Riel Casemiro, ayon sa kampo ni current undefeated and 4 World Division Champion Naoya Inoue aka The Japanese Monster, pagkatapos ng impresibong pagkapanalo ni Quadro Alas Angas ng Pinas John Riel Casemiro, sa Round 1 TKO, contra Sol Sanchez. Sanchez <laughs> Bukasa! Ayon sa kanila, ay nawala na naman daw sila ng gana para labanan itong si Quadro Alas John Riel Casemiro, dahil nahihirapan daw umano itong si John Riel Casemiro makuha ang weight limit, kaya nagdesisyon na sila na tuluyang iwasan itong kampo ni Quadro Alas John Riel Casemiro at hindi na ikasa ang labanan John Riel Casemiro vs Naoya Inui. Dagdag pa ng kampo ng The Japanese Monster Naoya Inui, ay maraming pang pwedeng labanan at maraming din nakahilera. Dahil dyan ay hindi na kinaya ni Masayuki ito at napuno na ito, ayon sa komento nito na ibinahagi ni Pinoy Boxing Prodigy. Promoter Masayuki ito, despite being disappointed by John Riel Casemiro's failure to make weights, still praised Casemiro's power and speed following his first round knockout, win against Saul Sanchez, while ito sis Casemiro left hook as a real threat to Naoya Inui, he admitted uncertainly about whether Inui camp would accept Casemiro as a potential challenger after the weigh-in issue. Nevertheless, Ito, stated he will still try to negotiate for the fight. Sa madaling salita ay gagawa si Masayuki Ito ng hakbang para muling pag-usapan ng labanan na Oya Inoue vs. John Riel Casemiro. Ayon naman sa Casemiro supporters ay eh kung timbang lang naman ang pagbabasihan sa tuluyang pag-ayaw nila sa laban kontra John Riel Casemiro, ay halos karamihan naman ay nagsasabi na hindi daw yun ang dahilan, Bagkus ay talagang takot na takot lang daw talaga si Naoya Inoue at ang kampo nito na labanan si former 3 World Division Champion Quadro Alas John Riel Casemiro. Dahil kung pagkuha lang weigh-in ang problema, ay pwede naman ito lagyan ng patakaran. Nasa oras na hindi nila makuha ang weight limit, pagdating ng takdang weigh-in ay isa sa kanila ang madisqualified at isa sa kanila ang mananalo, ganun lang kasimple. Ngunit dahil, takot itong the Japanese monster Naoya Inoue, ay gagawa at gagawa talaga yan sila ng rason para hindi matuloy ang laban John Riel Casemiro kontra Naoya Inoue. Dagdag pa sa ating mga balita, dahil isa rin sa kilala ngayon sa bansang Japan si Junto Nakatani, ay nakilala pa siya ng gusto ng mga boxing fans bilang isang matapang na boxingero, hindi tulad daw ni Naoya Inoue na isang duwag na nagbabalat kayo na isang matapang. Dahil si Junto Nakatani ay hinamon na si Naoya Inoue na maglaban sa 122 Super Bantamweight Division, Ngunit ang sagot ni Naoya Inoue ay gumagawa na naman daw ito ng dahilan na kisyo labanan niya muna si Batman or Superman bago daw siya. Ayon naman sa mga boxing fans ay anong klaseng boksingero daw itong si Naoya Inoue, isa nga daw siyang duwag na boksingero na nagbabalat kayo na isang matapang na halimaw. Ano sa tingin nyo guys isa nga ba talagang duwag itong si Naoya Inoue na nagbabalat kayo na halimaw? Just comment down below. Alam naman ng karamihan na ang laban ni Naoya Inoue vs. John Riel Casemiro ay medyo malabo na mangyari, dahil talagang hindi pinapansin ni Naoya Inoue itong si Quadro Alas Angas ng Pinas John Riel Casemiro kahit ano pa ang gawin niyang pagpapapansin dito. Ngunit ang labanan John Riel Casemiro vs. Junto Nakatani, ay sobrang laki ng pag-asa na maikasa ito. Dahil kung itong si John Riel Casemiro, ay magiging champion sa 122 pounds Super Bantamweight Division, kung sakaling iwanan na ni Naoya Inoue ang kanyang titulo na hawak sa Super Bantamweight Division, ay pwede nang upuan ni John Riel Casemiro ang division sa oras na umakyat na ng timbang itong si Naoya Inoue. Sa bagong hinirasyon kasi ngayon guys ay ang mga bagong titulo ang pinagbabasihan sa laban, in short hindi kalalabanan ng mga hapon kung hindi ikaw ang mandatory challenger. Uhaw na uhaw kasi ang mga hapon pagdating sa titulo. Kaya kung si John Riel Casemiro ang maging champion sa naturang division ay tiyak may pag-asa itong si John Riel Casemiro makalaban si Junto Nakatani. Kakayanin kaya ni former 3 World Division Champion Quadro alas angas ng Pinas itong si Junto Nakatani. Halina't panuuri natin sabay-sabay ang mga knockout highlights ni Junto Nakatani kung gaano nga baka lakas ito. Head right now. Doubles up the uppercut and then goes with a knockdown score! Right up 
uppercut. Oh! A straight left hand! Oh! Oh my! That was devastating! He is laid out in brutal fashion! With red. He's not a volume puncher by any means. No, no, no. When he throws, he throws with bad intentions. You know, he wants to do damage with both hands. Um, but he, he opens himself up quite a bit when he does get in front of a guy. Oh, good hard left hand. Next there from Nakatani. Impressive. Ooh. Hard left hand, and that one buckled Yamauchi, who is holding up. Buzzed at the end of the opening round. Hard left hand connects again. From Great job of mixing up his punches. That one had yeah, well. He staggered once again. He is on wobbly left. He's making it hard for him. Being aggressive on the inside, using his physical. You can just tell Nakatani, he believes in his power so much. Mm. When he gets there, he'll it'll, it'll do the job. Yamauchi just out of position and eating uppercuts right now. Great physicality from Nakatani there. Oh, there's that left hand again. Uppercut <laughs> is the last thing you want to get it with. Good, good right hand from Yamauchi. Oh, hard left hand right down the middle. Another one comes behind it. Almost like someone who's been doing this since they were 14 years old in high school. <laughs> a little dip in the knees Ooh. from Yamauchi a moment ago, and oh, now yeah. he is in big time trouble. Nakatani pouring it on, and that is it. Yeah, good, good, good stoppage. Ooh, oh, wow, yeah, hurt. Nice shot. Yeah, that hurt. one hurt. That delayed reaction drops Cortez in round five. Emotion. He did. He knew what he was doing. For 30 seconds left here to go in round oh. five. Will Junto Nakatani be able to finish? Body shot. That body, his body shot. Cortez yeah. is clamming up. Tap it low. Ooh. Oh, and that one snaps the head back of Cortez. <laughs> Cortez clearly so for chances. Ooh, the body. body again. Yeah. Strong shot there. Ooh. Combination there from Nakatani. You know, how are we going to live up to the expectations based on how Bob performed? And He's got hit with a, left, with a good left hand. Back to the gym. Oh, good. Oh, there. That hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Looking Cortez. for the finish here in round 12. Cortez holding on for life. Junto Nakatani. マグラモスエイパスで出しましたけどあの右のノーモーションがパッと来るんでそうですねええ相手ストレートを左のストレートを山中さんも中谷の左のロングフックでも注目されてますけどええ上当たってからスペルストレート右のボディボディにも入れて
Nakatani digging to the body here. And this is a distance that really favors Acosta. Punch for punch. That's got to be worrisome. As he lands well, Acosta right has to, Yeah, he has to try to weather that storm. You don't know how bad that Step nose back. is. The blood that Acosta swallowing here in the heat in Tucson, Arizona. That's worrisome. And the punches from... from the doctor. He's in Arizona promoting Fury Wilder 3. They're going to need a new one for next week. Man, listen, Step Nakatani back. is a bad boy. He is. He knows how to maintain range. His distance Stop. throws combinations. It's over. Starting with his jab. Yep, it is over. Yeah. に順と二十一対左。いきなり武器びっちりと距離を詰めていくのが青の持ち味。ていく打っていく。大優勢ということが分かりましたが、このままポイントで行きますか。手を狙う。どういった試合の終わり方、考えているでしょうか。左。もう